Welcome to another video by Warp9 Tech Design. In this video, we're going to cover the TMC 3 in 1's Anti Dive Mode 3 Velocity Based Anti Dive. The way this mode works is that when you first start cutting, you're moving slow, it's going to be deactivating height control, and you're not going to be getting any Z axis adjustments. Once you get up to the full commanded feed rate, or within 95% or whatever you set it to, and on your long cuts, it will allow height control to happen. As you're coming to the end of the cut, and you're slowing down, it will deactivate height control so you don't dive at the end of a line or in a corner. Go to our website, warp9td.com, FAQ, Mach 4, height control TMC 3 and 1, Anti-Dive Mode 3. I already referenced all home. Make sure you do that every time you start up. And we are enabled. I will click on Height Control on off to allow height control. M2020 to load our default values. Pause to allow them to execute G20 for inches, G64 for constant velocity. These set your X or your Z axis max and min limits during height control. Here are the interesting lines. AD3, velocity enabled equal to 1. So we're enabling, enabling anti-dive mode 3 and we're setting it to 95%. So if you're commanding 100 inches per minute and you're doing 95 inches per minute up to 100, Height control will be enabled, which would be during the middle of your long lines. If you drop below 95% of your commanded feed rate, which would be at the very beginning and very end of your line, height control will be disabled. Slight pause to allow those to be processed. Down here, you'd have your probe to do your touch off. You'd want to uncomment that. Make sure you update your work Z being zeroed. Raise to your pierce height, M62P3 to turn the torch on, and we do our four legs of the square with a lead in and a lead out. We disable the torch right here just before the lead out. Now, when we first start up, watch and you'll see that this is not active and that this is showing zero. As we get going through the straightaway, this will turn on this will turn on, this will turn off, and we'll have the z-axis moving. When we get into this corner, we'll see this drop down to zero, and that will flash on. It will turn off right away as we get out, and you'll see the same thing happen in these corners as well. It's on, so we're moving the z-axis. Stop for a moment, moving the z-axis. Stop for a moment, moving the z-axis. Turned off for a moment moving the z-axis. And that's how anti-dive mode 3 works. Thank you for watching and have fun with your TMC 3-in-1.